we haven't been here since 2019. We'll, I know. It's like our first show back was the Hate Street Fair, that, which was great. It was so much Super fun. fun. Yeah, yeah. So, Super uh, blast. which was that was your basically your debut with the band. That was our debut. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's fantastic. You know that relaunched bonus ones and now they're playing like dynamo and you know and shit like that you know all kinds of great uh, fe festivals and suddenly now this boy's in forbidden as well <laughs> unbelievable so it's a beautiful thing uh, you know of just a few years ago he was retired from music he was a BMX bad boy and now he's back behind the kit where he belongs. Can't get hurt, can't race. I miss it like fucking heroin, but I'll tell you, it's been cool being back in music with a new perspective. The five years off fixed me totally. I, I was telling you earlier, I, right. felt, I felt like I got out of music like right before I was completely jaded. Yeah. I was burned out, a little disillusioned with the industry. And coming back with this whole new mindset just is fucking glorious, man. I think it's showing up in your playing as well. You're attacking the drums with a renewed ferocity. Hit them like they owe you money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, uh, so Boneless Ones, they have, there's a record out. Yep, back to the grind on our own label, Thunder and Lightning. Yep, that's good stuff. And there's a reconstituted Forbidden, as we said, with uh, uh, our new vo a new vocalist. Yeah, Norman Skinner. Who's amazing. Yeah, he's from like a bunch of bands here in the Bay Area, Divine and Skinner. And um, he's just, he's fucking awesome, dude. He's And a good dude. He's, yeah. he's a great guy, but he's like a pro's pro. He is built to play in front of 40,000 people, right? Yeah. And so, it's just a great story. He's got the break now. He, we all yeah. fucking... He had never really crossed gel. over to yeah. that next level. Yeah. But he's always had the chops. A Magica. Right. You know, he was great in that band. Uh, Hell Scream. You know, it was cool. We, when we played um, in, in Alcatraz, uh, KK's Priest was playing. Right. right. And one of his favorite singers is Tim Ripper Owens, right? So he really wanted to meet Tim, right? Yeah. So we go backstage, and Tim knew all his shit, and was like fanboying him. Ah, that's and awesome! It, it was it was fucking glorious, that's dude. Cool. It was because really Tim's cool. a good dude. Tim's yeah. another good guy. And it turns out that uh, the drummer was actually in a band with Norman called uh, Hell Scream. Oh wow! And so he was like, "That's my drummer!" Like it was just it was oh, magic. It was a big love fest, yeah. So love the, fest. So the the uh, pictures and video that I saw from that festival was outstanding Insane stuff. Though. I mean. And there was a picture of you guys in front of the crowd. It was what, forty thousand people or something? No, it was like it was like eighteen. It was oh, like it eighteen like, people. Hey, it eighteen, like eighteen people. people. No, eighteen thousand. Eighteen. 18 yeah, yeah. It's a great festival, man. Everybody is volunteer there. They have like nine hundred and seventy-five volunteers, and they all want to be there. So I mean, the guy opening the gate is like, "Hellos and hi, are you guys ready to rock?" I mean. Across the board, everybody was just super cool. Mario has it just pinging, dude. No, I love it. Alcatraz is awesome, and then Dynamo. Dynamo, come on. you can't go wrong. You with know, Dynamo. that's one of the coolest festivals. It's got the great reputation. It's Bay Area East. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any place in the world that I've been that has more reverence for the Bay Area sound and thrash than Eindhoven. I mean, it's just the backyard, dude. Yeah. You feel at home there. You know. Yeah, it's it's uh, unfortunately I've not had the chance to experience it, but maybe one day. Yeah, man. Yeah, get guys, out there. You guys, it's not too cheap. Take me over. It's pretty cheap to go to Europe. I think people put it way up in this yeah. super expensive thing. But if you just go gut level, you can get over there and bop around, man. Yeah. All right. So what's coming up with Forbidden? Uh, writing a new album. Uh, we've got like four or five U.S. festivals, like six European festivals next year, South America. South America. I was going to ask if you guys are going to do that because yep. it's such a great territory for metal. Yeah, we're playing Metal Fest in Chile, and then we're playing Summer Breeze in Brazil nice. in April. And, uh, you know, we're shooting towards Japan, Australia, New Zealand, maybe some Canadian dates. Uh-oh, they're going to invade Canada. Canuck Can babbies. They'll, they'll never be the same. <laughs> well, that's, you know, it's a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Yeah. What's yeah. the timeline on the record? When it's done. I mean, we want to get it out by, we want to have it at least ready for end year. And Well, no, the end of the year. Because there's just so much we're doing, you know. We've still got to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Forbidden Evil. And, um, 
So yeah, we're just gonna write. We don't want to rush it. There's no reason to rush it. We've got plenty to do, and you know, to you know, get out there. So right. write a killer thrash album, man. That's the that's the point. Is get a great thrash album written. Yeah, a another injection of Bay Area mayhem. Fuck yeah. For the world to consume. Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a it's something to look forward to. So uh, why don't you tell everybody all your social medias and stuff to follow? I'm online. Yeah. No, what about Forbidden and Bonus Ones? <laughs> I don't even know them all, dude. How could you not? I don't know the little... You know me, dude. I'm a frozen caveman drummer, dude. <laughs> I post a lot. I know how to hit send and post. <laughs> <laughs> Google it, boys and girls. Google For us. Forbidden. Forbidden official, I think it is. Uh, bonus Ones authorized. Right. Yeah, stuff like that. Bonus ones authorized, and the, the uh, current record is out. Are anything in the works there? We've been writing some stuff for the bonus ones. Um, probably going to record something in 25. Okay. So something to look forward to. Raven, Raven. Heard. One of our best. One of our absolute best. Silly boy. He is. He is a great photographer. Though. He's amazing. Yeah. He did the forbidden photos. They're coming yeah. out. So. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. All right, so. Forbidden and bonus ones, more fun than you can shake a stick at, boys and yeah. girls. Yeah, and I'm also I'm also doing a country band with my nephew what? called Zach G, the Outlaw, and the Moonlighters. And I've got, I love it. I've got members of Ghost Town, Mordred. Uh, we got this great lap slide pedal steel player from Nashville, and it's super cool. My nephew Zach G, dude, he's a phenom, dude. Oh, you were mentioning this. Yeah, thing. his yeah, his originals yeah, yeah. are killer. We right. only do old timey. Oh, you know, love so, it. yeah, love it's it's really really fun, dude. I'm loving that. So keep your eye out for that too. All right, cool. Very cool. All right, boys and girls, that's the backstage report from the Hate Nation. Ah. <laughs> you gotta come see him be a cowboy. He's gonna be a cowboy. This I gotta see.